what we are tackling, you can see it's chucking you down a bit, but you come in through a lot, we've got the tyres actually, but you come through and this is where you come into. So we've got a nice counter here, we've got a nice big selection of ice cream here. And the cakes and things like that, and the new coffees and all sorts. Yes, it's a quite nice place and quite a, quite a good selection. So during the summer, you tend to have queues coming out the window, and you have to have some lots of space outside as well. Like I said, it's, it's uh, not so sunny day at the moment. Oop, as you can see, it's uh, coming down a bit. But yeah, really easy access, uh, loads of parking, and uh, really nice food and everything else. So, yeah. A nice place. Oh, and they do milk as well, so I'd like to come take some milk here and there from there for, for the Ara Dairy Farm. Yeah, but great place. So go on then, Chris. Go on, Jess. Let's try, start with the chocolate. Let's have a go. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab a spoon. Yeah, it's not a spoon. So, which one are we thinking about this? Mm -hmm. It's a lot creamier. Really? Mm. Much smooth, a lot creamier. I suppose I need to try it and see what I a very smooth chocolate, mm. very milky. It's not sweet as well, isn't it? Mm. It's, it doesn't have like the chunkiness of the other ones. No. It's, 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 it's that sweetness, that chocolate. It's better than the first one. Really? Yeah, it tastes more like chocolate, but it's yeah. still kind of got a burnt taste to it. I, I think that first one was nice, but I think that's more what everyone thinks about as chocolate. Yeah. Is that, like, like that, if someone thought about chocolate ice cream, that was good. Very creamy. Oh, that was real good. Egg fries were even the worst questionable one to laugh at. Baked pudding. More like a raspberry ripple. Mm. A better raspberry ripple. Mm. That was really nice. That's basically a, a better raspberry I, ripple. I did that one. <laughs> I think also it's got something else with it as well. It's got a bit of the pudding taste, hasn't it? Yeah, creamy. It's got, it's got like that pastry at the bottom. It kind of tastes a bit like cheesecake. Yeah. Tastes like cheesecake. I think it's with cheesecake, but it's got a pastry taste. Mm. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna be mm. skeptical on pistachio. Right, so this is one of their um, specialist ones. It didn't taste that much. Something that you. Yeah. I'm not really sure. It tastes like a bit. Oh, yeah. mm. Nutty vanilla. Mm. Ooh, and the appetite. That's alright. That tastes. Oh, the taste, mm. not the texture. The taste is exactly the same as Indian coffee. It's almost salty. Yeah. Because so I think you've got those salty tones at the end. Mm. Yeah. I don't hate it. No. But it's quite nice. I think you have the first cup, but it doesn't sit right. But after you've had a few, it then starts it's a bit moreish, isn't it? Mm. I think it's got like a bit of that moorish thing to it. You have a couple and you actually start to fall out. All right. I'd say it's a three. Two for me. Uh, it doesn't I'm taste so much. I think I'm going to go with three and a half. I'm getting this one. I like this one. Yeah. <laughs> Take it, Chris, it's fine. <laughs> right, so Jess has ended up with the bake cup, Chris is with the chocolate. I've got what's left. <laughs> Brilliant. I am not even gonna, going to try this. I'm going to tell you why. Here, this one, cold eaten. Black cherry is my favourite. This is actually my local ice cream shop, and I've been coming here for quite a, quite a while. And I've actually tried every single flavour here. And there's another reason. This half a litre tub is five pound. The price here for half a litre. Come here. I can have a couple of spoons. Have me, a little boy, or the wife come here try a couple of things and I've not had a single bad flavor not a single bad flavor other thing with these flavors that they have make here none of them are too overly sweet none are overly quite tangy it's quite middle quite relaxed soft flavors every single one and so it's low sugar so you can give these to the kids you can have a little something else I'm sure there's plenty of sugar in it but the taste of it isn't overly sweet so I'm actually gonna give this place a four hour four out of five and the reason I'm doing that because it's a 24-hour shop 
open seven days a week and come here, have an ice cream whenever I feel like it and the portion size is all fantastic um, and like I said every single flavour is brilliant so I've tried them all, I don't have to try it, go and try anything but every single one is brilliant so yep, four, uh, you know what, four and a half Hello, and we are at our last stop of the day that's Dalton's, here we go this is down just near Ashbourne and just around the corner from Ashbourne so it's actually an honesty shop so this is our second honesty shop for the ice cream tours um, and yeah it's a nice little place set in the hills very very nice small little car park they've got lo absolutely loads and loads of seating some it covered it's very very nice it's a nice little place so let's have a little look inside so we're coming in and here we go we're inside so they've actually got these giant tubs here Look at that, huge, huge, huge! And they've also got loads and loads and loads of flavours here. Uh, but not just that, they've got loads of little cards, some mugs, some milk, some drinks, and there's a little cafe here as well next door. So if you like their stuff, you can come get Oh, we've got the little and honey. That's quite cool. And jam as well. Yeah, so they're doing quite a bit. It's come and support your um local farm shops it's little farmers this is it makes all the difference to me and it's an example of a really really nice little place just stop and get what you like from here so we're going to choose three flavors and uh we're going to back in a sec yeah so we've got four flavors uh go on chris what's this first one uh cheeky chocolate cheeky chocolate then we have ginger crackle ginger crackle chocolate orange chocolate orange and raspberry, raspberry and white chocolate. white chocolate. Yeah, so we're now at Dalton's. This is our last place of the day. Um, and yeah, we've had uh, an interesting time so far. Go on, mm -hmm. Jess. But Go on. I'm going for this, I guess. Yeah. Well, should, should we try all the chocolate one first? I think I've already got a scoop of this. Yeah. Go on, Chris. What do you think? It's not the best one. Yeah, interesting. It looked it. It looked it. It looked it, yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. It's not the best chocolate we've had. Today. I think it's the quality of the milk isn't as good as the pre. Uh, isn't as good as tagline. No, no. I'd say it's warm. And I think the chocolate that was used was better in the first one, in Bluebells. Mm. I think Bluebells had better chocolate. Milk was better in tagline. I think it's actually the worst chocolate we've had today. Mm. Yeah. To its sort of it's average. So it's passable. It's, 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 it's average. It's average. It's the McDonald's. Yeah, it's an average, average ice cream. It's the McDonald's of ice cream, of chocolate ice cream. You could go into Sainsbury's or any sort of supermarket. It's, yeah. And that's what you get. Yeah. For your chocolate. Yeah, no, that's. This is the ginger, wasn't it? I'm not a fan of ginger. Really? No offense to gingers. <laughs> There's no taste to that. No. Get get a scoop of the the crackle. Even You'll on the, it just the milk, cream, that. Ooh. Yeah. I, I like I like that. That's right yours. down my street. That's <laughs> all yours. <laughs> oh, I guess chocolate orange. Chocolate orange like this one. That that's, looks quite that's soft. Cream. That looks quite that's soft. That's really soft. Which is this one? Chocolate orange. This is the one you chose. Yeah, that's orange. strong. Ooh. That's strong. That's better than that. Yeah, it is. Because it's got orange in it. But it's not got a taste like Terry's chocolate orange. The orange is quite different. Mm. It's just orange and chocolate. Yeah. It's like, um, it's like having the orange taste more like orange juice. Like the concentrated stuff. Oh, sorry. Mm. Mm. That's like the creaminess. The, it's, it's just two separate flavours. Mm. Mm. The orange and the chocolate are separate. With the other orange chocolate I've had, it was together and it was like it's like a Terry's chocolate orange. The taste come together. It's a chocolatey orange. I feel like the orange is more of an orange extract rather than mm. actual orange. Right. Mm. Yeah. Chocolate orange is better. Never thought I'd try that. Mm. Mm. Right. And that's good. Nice and sweet. It's a much hard firmer actually. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and that was obviously the raspberry. You're getting that raspberry straight away, aren't you? Yeah. And the raspberries in for mm. a folly of chocolate. Tiny chunks. Yeah. And you can taste a little bit of raspberry as well. Mm. It's got a little raspberry yeah. seeds, yeah. Sticking in my teeth. 
It's got loads of raspberry. I think I'm eating all this one. <laughs>